Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have got the Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favour here. There's luck on your side and there's contentment coming in and happiness. That's beautiful. So a lot of contentment and happiness. You're going to be feeling at one with yourself. Let's have a look and see. Please show me clearly the guidance for this message. The universe is supporting you. That's the important thing, always. There's luck around you. So fated events, luck is on your side. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. The High Priestess. Five of Swords. The Two of Cups. Beautiful soulmate type energy there, well-balanced energy there. Leo energy could be relevant, the Strength card. The Lover's card, this overall central energy, that could be Gemini. The Queen of Swords. The Page of Wands. The Death card, which is Scorpio energy, that could be relevant. The Ten of Pentacles. Now, I feel here that there's a transformation coming in. There's change coming into your life here. It can be out with the old and in with the new. Things are ready to transform. I feel here that you've had to make major decisions in your life. There could be compromises that have had to be made, middle grounds that have to be made. You've made major decisions to set yourself free from something. And you've been very clear about what you've wanted. These decisions have ended up with you becoming single or being on your own. And these compromises, um, it felt as if you were taking one step back and two forward, but this change needed to happen so that you could go forward. And I feel that you've focused now on what you've came out with rather than what you've left behind. But it can feel like a bittersweet victory for most people. When they leave relationships, not everything goes the way you would like. So there's compromises being made in the past, most definitely. There's middle ground being found. Um, you've been very clear and sensible about the way you've went about yourself now and change is ready to happen because there's a new opportunity for love coming in here. Now, this can be obviously um, you choosing someone. You could have your eye on someone. They could have their eye on you. But this is definitely a, a relationship. But this can mean choices as well. Choosing, choosing to go down a certain path here so that you can bring growth back into your life. So you might have an idea who this person is. It could be somebody younger than you. It could be a friend that's introduced to you. This can also be, you know, it's the type of thing where it might be somebody that is an acquaintance that could turn into, or a friend that could turn into a lover. So you might have a, a feeling here about someone round about you, and this relationship is ready to change and transform here. And this person here is somebody who's like a soulmate energy. So it's somebody who's on the same page as you in life. They have the same outlook in life. It's Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy here. And they're a mirror image of you. So your expectations are the same. You're on the same page. They're a good friend as well as a lover. It's a soulmate energy that's coming in. So like I say, it could be a friend that turns into a lover. It could be a family member or somebody in your group that introduces you to this person. Um, most definitely. But it's the start of something that could grow into a romantic relationship. Now, this is going to be you being strong because of what you've been through in the past. You have been strong up till now. So think about everything you've been through and you've survived. You've shown a lot of strength and courage in the past. And you will go forward here to make your choices in relation to this person. Now, you're going to want to listen to your intuition here. Um, definitely. Listen to your intuition, what you're sensing and seeing around you. It will guide you as to who this person is, possibly. When you know them, you'll intuitively know who they are. Okay? Your strength is being rewarded here, Capricorn, for your... You're meeting a soulmate-type energy because you've been prepared to take the knocks. You've been prepared to take on the chin, if you like, and you were prepared to set yourself onto the right path. And you cut people in situations out of your life that no longer served you. You just cut the people out. 
And that's your reward. You were strong. You made the right choices here in the past. And the universe is ready to reward you for your efforts, most definitely. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favour. Now, this relationship that you take up, you go into it, it's going to be very abundant and prosperous. There's going to be good support networks around you. You could be new friends, new family members here. This could be your family supporting you, being pleased for you. You've got a good support network around you, whether it be family, friends or otherwise. And there's going to be a lot of contentment that's going to come from this, most definitely. So a lot of happiness ahead after times of struggle. You're being rewarded here for good choices in the past. It's time now to be happy. It's time for that person to come in. There's been deception in the past here. You had to walk away from somebody who was trying to get away with something. And this is what I'm saying. You see, you've healed from it. This is Aquarius energy. So that might be relevant for some of you. But this is the healing energy that I was talking about earlier. You're, you've healed. You've rejuvenated. There's new hope coming in. This is the perfect time. The wheel of fortune. Luck is on your side. You're ready to become the star of your own show again. You're going to have to make a decision eventually about this person and it's definitely to do with your happiness listen to your heart chakra here because there's definitely a new opportunity for romance coming into your life this is something that you could build that's going to be successful you're going to be a very successful couple you're going to be able to get over the challenges that life presents so if there is compromises needing to be made in this relationship you'll get over it you'll find them You'll find them. It won't feel as bad as it was the first time because you've learned here. You've gained knowledge. Um, people are going to respect you as a couple as well. Yes, yeah, see, it's a well-balanced relationship here. Equal give and take. Both of you good with money. You're on the same page, you see. Same outlook in life. Same expectations, same standards here for yourself. So a really, really well-balanced relationship where two people are putting the efforts in. There's a lot of stability coming in in the future. This could be for you. You could be living together. You could be having family. But you're creating stability. And that's the important thing through working together. You're creating great stability. So there could be weddings here as well. Yeah, this is beautiful energy. This is compassion, love. Harmony, rebirth, this can mean children, pregnancies, Venus, creating beautiful things, being content and happy. You're content and happy within your relationship here, both people. Your disappointments are over. Your disappointments are over. You're moving on now. There's good news coming in. There's emails, there's texts, there's communication. You could be moving house, you could be moving country, you could be moving home to a new town, but there's a coming together, there's a very fast moving energy because you're going to take the time to build this relationship from the bottom up. So, you know, you're taking time to get to know each other. Don't doubt your ability to do this. You're going to communicate well. You're going to see the way forward. Things are going to move on and there's going to be a lot of happiness in the future. The planets will align for you. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.